Hi and welcome to Outdoors with Richard. So today I'm going to be taking a look at the Flextail Zero Pump. Now here in the UK I purchased this pump for £45.99 but depending where you live or where you purchase this pump from prices may vary. Now when it comes to the packaging it comes in this orange, black and grey box. It's got a picture of the pump on the front Look into the side of the box. Um, it has another picture of the pump and a bit more information about the pump. And then on the back, it gives you some pictures of all the different nozzles you can get with this pump, plus some pictures of the battery that comes with this pump, plus a little bit of extra information. See if you can see that it is quite difficult to see. Right, let's open this box up and see what we get inside. So inside, we get right in the middle, you get the pump itself, and then you also get six multi-purpose nozzles, three each side. You also then get this lanyard, which you can attach to uh, the pump if you wish. You then get a USB-C charging cable, and then you get a little user guide as well. Right, taking the pump out of the box, first impressions, it's a nice looking pump, it feels really good in the hand, it's small, it's light, it looks well made, it's got an on and off switch here, it says inflate one end, deflate the other, but overall really nice looking pump. It also says flex tail on it and also says 1.2 ounces, which is the claimed weight of this pump. So yes, overall first impressions, very nice. Right, let's look at some of the specs for this pump. Right, when it comes to the size of this pump, the length of the pump comes in at 2.95 inches or 7.493 centimeters. The width comes in at 1.02 inches or 2.591 centimeters. Now, when it comes to the weight of this pump, Flextail give you two weights. The reason for that is, is that there is a battery inside this pump, which you have to remove to uh, recharge this pump. Now, uh, the weight of this pump with the battery comes in at 48 grams or 1.69 ounces. And then without the battery, it, this pump weighs in at 34 grams or 1.2 ounces. Now, when it comes to the battery itself, I'll just show you the battery here. The battery you get with it is a 650 mAh battery, which is a 3.9 to 4.2 volt, 10 watt rechargeable battery. Right at the top of the battery, you do have a little USB-C port. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully it'll focus in. And that is obviously uh, where you're gonna plug in your USB-C charging cable to recharge the battery. And then obviously you'd put it back in your uh, pump. Now, when you are charging this battery, you can't see it, but on the top of the battery, you do get two little LED lights. Um, they turn red when you're charging this battery, and then when it's fully charged, they will turn to green. Now, I've had a good look in all the, um, well, I've had a good look in the user guide and online, and I can't seem to see anywhere where it states the actual charge time of this battery. So if you do have this uh, flex tail pump and you do know what the actual charge time is of this battery, please let me know in the comments below. However, when this battery is fully charged, flex tail do claim that you should get 25 minutes constant use. Now, when it comes to the pump itself, it has a max pressure of uh, 2.5 kph. Uh, with regards to airflow, um, it can deliver 180 liters a minute, so that's pretty impressive. Now, when it comes to the decibel rating of this pump, Flextail claims that the decibel rating is uh, 68. I have measured that personally, um, and I'm getting closer to the 88 to the 90 decibel range. But um, so how uh, Flextel have measured that, I don't know. But I, I actually did measure the decibel rating on this pump on two separate decibel units. And they both came out at closer to 88 to 90 decibels. So for me, that's not quite um, 
accurate. Um, I am just going to quickly put this uh, battery back in and then I can turn the pump on for you so you can hear what it's like. It's not crazy loud, um, but it's not it's not the quietest either. Um, right, let me just put this back in. Let me turn this on. There you go. Sounds a bit like a jet engine. Right, now, um, with regards to the on-off switch, it's actually a double-click switch. And the reason for that is, is that's just a safety measure. Uh, because if this pump was, say, in your backpack or rucksack, um, and you and something accidentally knocked the switch, it would turn the pump on. The time you get to camp, the battery would be flat. So it's a double click to get it going and uh, just one click to turn it off. Now, with regards to, uh, say, a, a waterproof rating, um, it doesn't actually state anywhere whether it's actually waterproof or actually water repellent. But I'm sure if you've got a little bit of water on here, it would be absolutely fine right let's take a look at the nozzles you get with this pump and let's also talk about um, when using this pump the inflating and the deflating of sleeping pads or sleeping mats when it comes to the nozzles for this air pump you get six nozzles now um, they're all different shapes and sizes and they are designed to fit most sleeping pads or mats However, they won't fit all of them. So it is worth checking online, perhaps go on the Flextel website and they will give you a list of the sleeping pads and sleeping mats that these nozzles are compatible with. I think where the problem comes and people say, oh, these don't work on their sleeping pads or mats is because they've got the Chinese style sleeping pads or mats and uh, some of those mats, the, the valves aren't uh, quite, um, sort of the same as a lot of other valves and I think that's where the problems start creeping in. However, when it comes to using these nozzles, they're really easy. Just choose the nozzle that you need. Just simply push it straight onto your pump, connect your pump and your nozzle to your sleeping pad or mat, turn it on and then you can actually leave this pump and it will stay upright and you can carry on doing something else and come back when your seating pad or mat is fully inflated. So um, really easy to use. These um, nozzles are all made out of rubber. They're very flexible and very strong. So I think these uh, nozzles should last you a long time. But uh, just to remind you, before you invest in this Flextail Zero Pump, I would just double check that the nozzles uh, that come with this uh, pump are compatible with your particular sleeping pad or mat. Now, I have gone online and I've seen a lot of people um, in some of the reviews saying that this um, this this pump doesn't um, fully inflate their sleeping pad or mat um, fully. Um, now, I haven't experienced that myself, nor have many other people I know. But um, if your sleeping pad or mat is not being inflated properly, either you're not using this uh, pump correctly or um, you're perhaps using the wrong size nozzle or perhaps, as mentioned uh, 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 less than a minute ago, maybe um, your sleeping pad and the valve that it has um, is not compatible with this pump. So, um, you know, I echo again, just double check that the nozzles that come with this pump are compatible with your sleeping pad or mat. Also, people are saying that when it does inflate um, their sleeping pad or mat, um, it doesn't inflate it fully. Now, if this is used correctly, it should inflate your sleeping pad or mat to at least 95 to 97 percent max. Um, don't forget that when the pressure, the air pressure inside your sleeping pad or mat becomes greater than the output of this pump, this pump will become less efficient. So you might have to just disconnect it and uh, just put um, a couple of uh, breaths in your sleeping pad or mat, which um, isn't um, a, a big deal. Um, I think um, what people forget is that, you, you know, most pumps have some form of a safety device on. 
because I mean, if 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 a pump can um, put more air pressure than a, a sleeping pad can handle, um, eventually um, that um, sleeping pad or mat would just pop. It's the same as say here in the UK, if you go to inflate your tires at the uh, petrol station and you, 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 you select your bar or PSI, and then you start inflating your tire on your car, you do have that little beep that goes off when the pressure is reached. I think it goes beep, 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 and then you stopped. If you carried on putting pressure into your tire, eventually it would just burst. It's exactly the same with um, pretty much any air pump. Uh, when that pressure inside, the air pressure inside your sleeping pad or mat gets greater, than, um, than your actual pump, greater than the output of the pump, then as I said, it's gonna not be very efficient. So it's kind of, as I say, like a, uh, a safety valve. Um, right, um, now when it comes to this pump, um, Flextail say that um, this little pump will inflate uh, most uh, sleeping pads or mats within 50 seconds. However, don't forget, that is a standard mat or pad. If you use a, a longer or a wider uh, pad or mat, it is gonna take longer. I personally use the, um, the Big Agnes Repeat SL long wide mat, and that takes uh, probably about one minute 45 seconds to inflate. So just um, bear that in mind. Uh, another great function of this uh, little pump is that if you are uh, making a little campfire and the wood's a bit damp or a bit wet and you need a little bit more oxygen in, you can just turn this on, put this at the base of your little campfire and it will blow some oxygen in and it will help um, get your fire going. The other thing this can do is at home, if you've got some of those vacuum bags that you say you want to store some clothes away, you can put your clothes in um, and then seal the bag and then obviously put the... Uh, the deflate side onto this, onto um, that uh, vacuum bag, just to you know extract all the air. Um, that's a, another benefit of this pump. Now, talking about um, when it comes to deflation, some people have said that um, oh, uh, this doesn't uh, get the air out of their pad or mat. Once again, I haven't had a problem with that, and I think. Um, you know, if, if you're using this, this pump correctly, if you're using the right nozzle and it's compatible with the pad or mat you're using, it should work no problems. As I said, I haven't had a problem with inflating or deflating, nor um, a lot of people I know haven't had that problem. So, um, you know, as I say, double check you're using it properly and more to the point, make sure that your pad or mat is compatible. Right, I'm gonna talk about um, a few things about this little pump which I really like, some things that I, I dislike, and perhaps uh, some things that could perhaps be changed to make this the perfect air pump. So what's there to like about this Flextel Zero pump? Well, first of all, it looks good, um, it's small, it's light, it's well made, it's powerful, it's not too loud, it's easy to use, um, it inflates and deflates really well. Um, I like the nozzles that you get with this pump, really easy to put onto this pump, and when it comes to connecting to your air pad or mat, it's so, so simple, and I like that when you're inflating your air pad or mat, you can just connect this and then just walk off and do other stuff, and this, uh, this little pump will just stay there until your pad or mat is inflated. So, so much to like about this pump. Um, dislikes, there are only probably two things I don't like about this uh, Flextel Zero pump. First of all, you know, um, I don't have a problem too much with removing the battery and charging it, but it would have been nice to have a USB port on the outside of this pump. Um, now, one thing I haven't mentioned is that when you come to remove the battery, when you take the end cap off, if you listen to this, it's very crunchy, it's quite stiff, the cap. If you can hear that. Um, so, obviously, the threads on this cap haven't been well engineered, shall we say. Um, obviously, very thin, uh, so I do worry about the longevity of the threads 
with this cap, especially when you're having to undo it and then do it back up every time you're wanting to charge the battery. I think those could have been engineered um, to a higher level, but they've obviously kept the metal very thin as well to try and keep the weight down. But that is a bit of a concern for me. Um, other than that, um, I don't have any issues with this uh, Flextail Zero Pump. Um, what would I do to this pump to improve it? Well, I do have the Flextail Tiny Pump 2, and what I really like on that pump is that you get a little hook which can fold um, up and down. I know you get uh, a lanyard with uh, this pump, but I prefer a little hook that you can you know, flip up and down. I would have liked to have seen a little light on the end of, of this pump and even a magnet, the same as the Tiny Pump 2. Um, but other than that, um, yeah, you know, this is a nice little pump. But um, I think if you add some of the um, things from the Tiny Pump 2 onto this, you possibly could have the best pump on the um, on the market. But um, that's just my opinion. I'd love to know what you think about um, this Flextail um, Zero Pump. Um, have you purchased this pump yet? Are you thinking about it? Do you own the Tiny Pump 2? Um, you know, uh, do you prefer the older pump? Um, I'd love to know what your thoughts are in the uh, comments section below. But that is my review on the Flextail Zero Pump. Um, as I said, these are just my opinions. Um, I, I know some people seem to be having a bit of a, a few troubles with this pump, but I think uh, maybe the main reason is, is that maybe the connectors um, that come with this pump are just not compatible with the sleeping pad or mat that you're using. So, you know, I say again, just double check that the nozzles that come with this pump are compatible with your sleeping pad or mat before you purchase that. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it. Um, if you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful, please give me a nice thumbs up. If you've already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for your loyalty. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please support the channel by subscribing and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.